question today is, can you explain the engineering design process? Hi, my name is Matthew Borgatti. I'm a senior in mechanical engineering. And my question was, can I explain the engineering design process? I would really hope I am after these five years. So I, I'll go into it now. Um, first, you have to have a problem. And the next step after that is you have to ex understand the problem as completely as possible. Because you can come up with a solution for something, and if you didn't completely define and understand the parameters that you start with, you can solve a problem that doesn't exist and present a solution that doesn't matter and it doesn't actually help. Because if you didn't actually understand what was going on, you end up with something that, you know, if it solved this other hypothetical issue, that that's not actually true. And then you have to state your assumptions because while every issue that we're going to come across in life can be looked at in extremely fine detail, usually that's not necessary. So we have to decide what assumptions we want to make. Like sometimes ideal gas is good. Sometimes it's absolutely not okay. Sometimes you can assume incompressible, but if you're dealing with really high temperatures and pressures, you know that that's not going to be accurate. So you have to decide what, how much detail you would like to view the problem in. And then you have to kind of come up with a hypothesis for what you think is going to happen, though. but that's more of a scientific method side. Um, so you have to take those that, that kind of balance of like a controlled volume, like from fluids. And then you go into it and you start thinking of possible solutions, but the most important part of that is you can't just stick with the first one that you come up with. Because if you think if you think about it, what are the odds that the best solution is going to be the first one that you think of? And also, what are the odds that it's going to be something that you think of? So it's important to collaborate with other people on your team and remember that it doesn't have to be your idea that solves the issue. It just has to be one that gets it done. And another thing to remember with that is it doesn't always have to be a perfect solution. It can be a good enough solution because everyone always tries to get the best thing possible, but sometimes you just need something good. So overall, the process is you have to understand the problem, think of possible solutions, and then execute it as best as you can, but remembering that sometimes it's better to get it done well instead of looking at every little detail. And thank you.